While he's embroiled in impeachment and foreign scandals, it's nice to see that the Commander-in-Chief will take time out of uh, all of these important issues to deal with stuff like this. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it, and you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. So EPA is looking at that very strongly, at my suggestion. Okay, is it just me? Or does it seem like someone took a dump in the Oval Office <laughs> that didn't flush, and now they're trying to blame it on America's water systems? Just feels like that. Mike, the EPA clogged the toilet again. <laughs> and also, can we acknowledge that of all the presidents, Trump has the most unpredictable schedule of all time. <laughs> Think about like a day in the life of one of his aides in the Oval Office, just like, uh, okay, sir, at 9 a.m. we'll be discussing Afghanistan, 10 is impeachment, and then at 12 you'll be discussing uh, clogged toilets. <laughs> Trump's like, great, cancel everything after toilets. I have a lot of opinions. <laughs> By the way, did you see what Eric did in the Oval Office? <laughs> but okay, but if I'm completely honest, if I'm completely honest, right, whether you like Trump or not, you have to admit this is an issue where we can agree with him. Like, I can say for a fact that America has a lot of low self-esteem toilets that don't flush <laughs> with conviction. Yeah, I've, I've experienced this a lot in this country, I won't lie. Like, you go to flush and then the toilet's just like, meh. <laughs> and you're like, no, flush. And it's like, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Because you have to admit it, we've all had that moment where the flush doesn't work. The worst is when you're at someone else's house and it doesn't work, yeah? It doesn't flush, so, right? So now you're waiting for the tank to fill up again and then you try again, hoping that they don't notice how long you've been gone. <laughs> the worst is when you know when you're flushing and the turd is just like swirling around the bowl, like, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Trump can solve that problem, he's getting four more years, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's a big problem. It's that time of the year when young people work up the courage to get rejected by someone who didn't even know they exist. <laughs> and for one young man, his prom proposal took a really unexpected turn. A Carson City teen regained the full use of his hand, but it came at the expense of another one of his body parts. Doctors detached Aiden Atkins' index toe and used it to recreate a thumb. Aiden says he wasn't able to use the thumb. He sawed off, well, because he couldn't find it. He lost his thumb trying to make his girlfriend an invitation to prom. Aiden says the accident happened so fast that he didn't have time to react. He says he's thankful it wasn't much worse. God has a plan for everything. He, he does it for a reason. There's, there's a story for everybody, and, and I believe that this is my story. Wow. Yo, man, kudos to that guy. That is an amazing story. Like, I'm glad the doctors were able to give him his hand back, and I'm genuinely impressed at his great attitude. Like, he had to replace his thumb with a toe, but he's still like, you know what? Life goes on. Yeah. <laughs> I get a pimple on my forehead and I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> and guys, you gotta admit, science is amazing. Cause I didn't know doctors could put your toe on your hand and it would work as a finger. Cause that basically means that our toes are replacement fingers, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what it's like? It's like when a shirt comes with extra buttons sewn in. <laughs> That's what God designed. If we lose a finger, we can just be like, oh, well, seven more to go. <laughs> And in some ways, it might even be better having some of your fingers be toes, you know? Like now you can get a mani-pedi at the same time. Just... <laughs> and by the way, what an upgrade for that toe. Can we admit that? Yes? I bet all the other toes must have thrown it a huge going away party. Just like, did you hear? Middle toes moving up to the big time. He's gonna be a finger. Yeah! Don't forget us when you're holding things, Mitty. Don't forget us. He's like, I'll come back, guys. I'll help you clip your nails and I'll tell you what the inside of a nose looks like. Yay! I actually wonder if this works for other parts of the body because I'm fascinated now. Like, can you use a leg as an arm? Or can you use a knee as a shoulder? I mean, it must be possible to swap parts because Donald Trump uses a vagina as a neck. I mean, 
Yeah, it's just like sometimes I grab me by the pussy. All right. Have you heard the good news about Jesus? Yeah? Now, have you heard the bad news about Jesus? This might actually be the holy grail of new video games. It's called I Am Jesus Christ, and it lets gamers play Jesus to heal a blind man, make fish appear in a bucket, and end a thunderstorm. Now, the New Testament-inspired game has not been released yet, but it is expected to launch soon. Okay, this, this is extremely offensive. Especially for me, someone who has already accepted Super Mario as my video game savior. I mean, <laughs> and I say unto you, it's a me. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't want to play a video game about Jesus. However, I do want to play as Jesus in other video games. Think about it. Yeah. When Jesus was alive, he rolled with sinners and prostitutes, so he'd kick ass in Grand Theft Auto. He'd be amazing. <laughs> or even better, I'd want Jesus to be in Madden as a quarterback. Be like, what's the play, Jesus? Hail Mary, same as every play. <laughs> Oh. oh, I don't want to play Jesus in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, just ripping out dude's spines, then immediately healing them. Resurrect him. <laughs> so look, I, I don't know about this video game, but if you are going to play it and you do get stuck, at least we all know the cheat code. It's going to be up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, stop. <laughs> that's it. All right, that's it for the headlines. Let's move on to our top